Right, morning everyone. Um, happy Friday. Um, I'm not sure what you're all up to today. If you're self-isolating, you're at home, um, or you might still be at work and you're catching up on this later on. Um, but what I thought I'd do today is just give you, because I did have workshops planned for this, um, but obviously we're not going ahead with the face-to-face -face ones. But what I did want to show you was how to create just a simple needle felted um, picture. And I thought again, seasonally, we're coming up to Easter in a few weeks. And if you're not going to be able to see friends and family as you normally would, um, then what perfect time to make and send them an Easter card. So, um, what I'm going to do is I've got my resources here. If you've been watching the um, last couple of lives, I haven't been very successful with the camera angle. So um, I have been practicing and it would be lovely if you're watching, if you could just give me a comment to make sure I've got the camera the right way up, that would be helpful. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and turn you around so you can see what's going on down here. And I'm gonna to have to put my phone on my, my mount here. And we're up, there we, where is it? There you go. Um, it's all very technical. I'm working in the conservatory. I've got my, uh, my setup here. It's quite bizarre really though, so. So bear with me. Um, please tell me if I am the right way up or if I'm upside down and then I'll turn you around. Okay, oh, hi, Becky. Hope you're okay. Um, Becky, if you can help me and just tell me if I put the camera the right way up or if I'm upside down, be lovely. Right, so here we go. Right, I think that has worked. I think you should be the right way up. If I am upside down, please tell me because obviously that's not what we want. Oh, perfect. Thanks, Becky. Right. So, as I said, we're going to make a lovely little simple needle felted card. Um, you know, we can you can adapt this to however you want, really. So I started off just doing one bunny. Uh, then I did the three. Oh, thank you, Serena. Hi, Catherine. Oh, and hi, Sophie. Oh, Sophie, I bet you'd love to do this, wouldn't you? Um. Right, so um, what was I saying? Yeah, started off with the one bunny, then did the three bunnies, then I had a go at doing some little sheep. Um, and again, I've based this just around Easter, but you, you can do so many different things. So I have got myself some carded wool. Okay, so if you've done needle felting before, you'll be familiar with this. This carded wool is really great for doing a quick project okay hi Ann. um it's great for doing a quick project because it's carded which means it's been brushed with special brushes which does the first process of needle felting for us so i've got myself some green in fact i've got a few different shades of green um and i've got my blue okay just for the sky and the grass. Then I've got myself just some natural and I've got myself a little bit of the, the darker one. Okay, so what you need then alongside your wool to begin with is you need just a piece of felt, okay? It can be any color, it doesn't really matter because we're going to, to cover it. And I'm going to be using just a medium uh, felting needle okay and again if you've done needle felting before you'll know that there are different types of needles for different felting projects so if we're making a model say the hair which is one that i'll be doing next week we use a coarse needle to begin with and then we use a finer needle as we go on for the detail um but for this i'm just using it's a 38 gauge um and it's a a medium needle <clears throat> and again for those of you that haven't done felting before if you look at the needle I hope that's in focus okay you can see that there's no eye for sewing so there's no sewing involved 
but what it has got is and I just often tell people just to start at the bottom and if you rub your finger just gently along the needle you'll feel that there's some little nicks little gauges now those are actually called barbs okay and if you think of barbed wire um you know if you're out for a walk in the country sometimes you see bits of wool from the sheep that have caught on the on the barbed wire that's practically how this works okay so the wool uh, the needle goes into the wool grabs the fibers they all begin to stick together and then it turns from this into whatever you're making okay so that's just a bit about the technicalities now the sun has come out and i'm in the conservatory so please tell me if it's too bright and you can't see and i'll close the binds hi kathy hope you're okay right so i've got my felt got my needle i'm working on a sponge block okay it's just a dense sponge you can work on um a pillow if you wanted to uh, you just need something if that you need to um, protect the surface that you're working on and protect the needle as well okay so I'm going to start off just by simply I think I'm going to go for the bright green and I'm just going to start off just by ruffling that bit out okay that's going to be my grass for my picture and all I'm going to do is just simply start felting. Okay, and this is so relaxing. Again, it's great to do if you're, you know, just sat at home and you want a quick activity to do, or if you want something to do to release your frustrations. Oh, well, thanks, Kathleen. Okay, so. Now what you can see is that at the moment it's getting little holes in it, okay? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up and you have to be careful because you can see, because I'm going into the foam, okay, it comes through the other side. So I have to keep lifting it up so it doesn't completely stick to the, um, to the foam block, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm just now going to go in at an angle and what that can do is get rid of some of the the holes okay and it can neaten it up all right so i've done my green okay if i was working on this for a longer time then I, you know i could go over and i could you can keep felting over and over until it's as perfect as you want to but the beauty about felting is you know, there is no perfect it is just how it is right i'm now going to do, add some sky okay so again just ruffle it out you don't actually need lo lots of of wool you can see that uh, a little bit goes a long way as they I'm just going to felt that in. You don't have to be exact as long as it sort of overlaps the green a little bit. Okay, I'm, it's got a bit of a gap there. So what I can do is I can just tease that apart. Hello, Tracy. Okay, there's lots of names coming up that I, um, I recognise from our Facebook page, but I uh, haven't met you all, so... It's nice to have this interaction in a way. It's a, it's a bit bizarre, isn't it? I still can't believe it's it's all going on. But we'll keep crafting, keep calm. Okay, so you can see now that's begun to st stick into the into the felt. Okay, but again, I'm going to lift it up, and as I lift it up, you can see all these bits that are going through to the other side and that's why you have to keep lifting it up because otherwise it would stick to the um the foam and we'd never never get it off okay and again if there's any little holes you can just go in an angle and those fibers behind 
will just fill that little gap in that little hole okay so what i'm going to do now is i am going to get to my card okay which i'm going to get I've left it in the kitchen here it is right I'm going to get my card which is one of the trifold cards and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that that fits nicely and it's all all the the base felt is covered with the green and the blue okay all right so I'll make sure that fits like that and then that's going to help me with the the sizing of my bunny or my sheep okay i think i might do a sheep actually but again you can you can do whatever you want right so i know now that i'm going to work in that center space and it will fit in the uh, in the frame on the card okay so for that i'm just going to get a bit of the natural wool okay and again you do not need a lot you just need a little bit and then for this because i want the sheep to be a fairly rounded shape i'm just going to place it on there and then i'm just going to use my needle just to make those edges a bit rounded and again, the beauty of felting is it's all natural, it's rustic. You know, you're using wool. It's not actually going to be perfectly neat and tidy all the way around the edges. But that's that's what I love about felting. It's just natural. OK, so can you say oh, I'm beginning to create that sheep shape? Okay, I can turn it round if I need to. Okay, when you're doing this at home, if you decide it's something that you want to do, you can spend a lot more time, if you wish, doing this. Okay, but I just want to get it done to show you. Okay, so at the moment, I've got my sheep's body. And again, I'm just going to check. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to check that it fits in the frame okay but it does so now i'm just going to give my sheep a head and two legs and to do that i've just got some of the darker wool okay and again you you need even less for this even a little bit like that can you see that if you just roll it in your hands even just that in your hands action will begin to felt it together Okay, so I'm going to place it there. Okay, so you can see just that tiny little bit has actually worked really well. Okay, and you're going to felt quite slowly. Okay, you want to get it in the right place. And again, you can go around the edges to tidy it up. Okay, and then... Like I say, I thought this looked quite nice, just giving it its its ears as well, just either side. So even smaller bits. And this time, I'm just going to roll it into like a bit of a, a sausagey shape. And I'm going to put it over there. There we go. Now again, it looks that ear looks a bit big at the moment, but. I can spend time on just using my needle to shape it, bring it a bit closer together. Okay, that's one done. So can everyone see it okay? Is it all, all all right? I think it's a bit better today. This has been a huge learning curve this week, doing uh, lives. I am... Um, I haven't done them before really as you can see if you watched the ones earlier in the week I was upside down I was sideways I apologize if you got a bad neck 
that this one's better. I think I've sussed it. Okay, so he's got his ear. Oh, thank you, Serena. All right, and I'm going... There we go. I'm going around there. Okay, so there is my sheep's head and ears. And he needs to stand up. So I'm going to make two little sausages again. Okay, you can roll it in your hands. It's always better to do little bits like this in your hands if you want to first and then put them onto the to the picture. If you try doing it on here, then you, the danger is that you're going to get stuck. Okay, now that's a massive leg at the moment, but I'll be able to sort it out because what I can do is as I put it on, and then I can tuck those ends in there and I can shape the legs. Okay, there's one. Okay, oh look, that's a bit too big. And before, oh, thank you, Sophie. I hope you're okay. Are you disappointed you're not at school or are you pleased that you're not at school? I've got one that's over the moon that he's at home and one that's struggling to be at home. But there we go. It's the new normal for a while, so we'll get there. All right, so here's the other leg. You can see that leg's a bit fatter at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my needle and again from the side can you just see that I just grab those loose fibres and push it in okay and there I've got my sheep okay and what I'm going to do now again I could if I wanted to or you know if you you want to at home if you're doing this you've got more time you can go around and neaten it up and you know, you can poke and prod it or felt it if I've been technical. Um, right, is the felt base I'm using a particular type? No, you can use any. This was just um, an off cut I had from, I can't even remember what it was from. I think it was from something else that I had. But it's just felt. If you've just got a sheet of felt from, I don't know, Hobbycraft or online, um, you can just use that. It, I just had that one because I thought it was quite a nice neutral base to work on. Okay, and there we go. All right. Um, what I'm going to do now is just double check that it fits in the, there we go, in the frame. And then what I will do is I will trim the excess off there just with a pair of scissors. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just don't want too much bulk in the actual card. Get rid of those. Got my trifold card here. Pop it in the window where you can see um, the shape nice and clear. And then what I would do is, I mean, if you're a card maker and you've got double sided tape or foam pads, you could use that or you could just use sellotape, you know, or glue. I wouldn't use glue really in case it blobs. Um, so you stick the felt bit down and then that bit. And again, what I would do, I haven't actually put it on the table, but what I would do is just a bit of double sided tape to secure that. And there you go. You have got just a simple Easter card, spring card. Just a send lots of happiness card. It can be whatever you want it to be. Um, the bunny was done in the same way, apart from just making a bunny's body and two ears and using a bit of the the um, natural for his, uh, his tails. So I hope you like that. What I am going to do is... If you would like to make one of these and you haven't got the resources at home, what I thought I would do is just put like a little pack together for you, um, which would include one of the cards, um, a piece of felt, a bit of each of the colours. Um, I've got the lighter colour as well for the bunnies. 
um, if you wanted lighter. But I thought I'd put a little pack together with a felting needle. Um, and then if you wanted to, you could have a go at home. Um, if you've got all the resources at home already, fabulous. Um, I'd love to see your pictures if you do make any. Um, I have got a group called, it's from this page, but it's called like the Mindful Crafters, which I set up just like a social crafting community group, um, just so we could all come. Oh, bless you. <laughs> um, thank you, Sophie. So that we can all come together and, and you know, share what we've done um, during this time. Oh, there's a nice view of my garden. <laughs> Needs a, there we go. Oh, there we are. I'm back. So, um, so yeah. So if you want to pop a lot, pop over to the Mindful Crafters and share a, share away. It doesn't just have to be this project. Um, oh, hi, Ryan. If you do want to pack, um, I was thinking they'll probably be seven pound, including postage, um, and that will be enough. And I'll I'll put enough so you can make a couple of cards, uh, not just the one. Um, so if you did want one, just pop us a message, okay? Right, I hope you enjoyed that. As I said, I'm slowly getting used to this. Um, and what I will do for next week is, I mean, there'll be more in between, but next week I thought I would do um, an online workshop to make make a hair. Okay, so well, I'll, I'll get planning I'll, um, and I'll let you know. All right then, take care, have a good day, bye.